So hi guys again it's me karibuni tena na kama nilivyosema hii wiki ameifunga harmonize na vitimbi kama vyote. Sasa tukum, tu, turudi kwenye story ya mtoto. Kwanza <laughs> Kwanza kwanza wacha wacha na hii mambo ya baby mama wala nini hiyo tuiongelee baadaye. But kwanza turudi kwenye story ya mtoto. Mimi nataka nijue. Sara jamani wa Tanzania mwambieni Sara akuje atuambie ile DNA ali Photoshop ama alienda akalipa mtu alienda akalipa daktari kwenye DNA ilikuwa inafanywa atengeneze DNA fake ama ile DNA aliitoa wapi eh mnaelewa ile DNA aliyotupigia picha katukosia ali Photoshop ama alienda Sara please come out and tell us where did you get this paper because i don't believe harmonize can be so crazy yani anaweza akakuwa mwenda wazimu in a way an, agande mtoto yani akakaa mtoto kabisa ambaye anaambua sio wa kwake i don't think harmonize can be that stupid otherwise hata angetumia hiyo chance utafuta kiki aseme huyu hapa walikuwa nibandika mimba nimeprove kwamba mimba sio ya kwangu and then how comes the dude will uh, agande mtoto ambaye sio wa kwake hivyo yani he is taking the child everywhere kama sio wa kwake please sara come out and tell us where did you get the paper Ulienda ukalipa daktari kwenye DNA ilikuwa inapimwa ina akakutolea karatasi ya DNA fake ama where did you get the paper please come out and tell us where did you get the paper this people will tuonyesha eti imeandikwa black and white harmonize sio baba yake huyu mtoto so ukasema harmonize anajibandikizia mtoto harmonize haezi zalisha i don't think harmonize can be that stupid hadi saa hii kama ingekuwa ni kiki angekuwa ashaipotezea sasa it ni muda kabisa harmonize bado bado anatembea anaonekana na huyu mtoto kila mahali like seriously na aweza akatafuta kiki kama hiyo na mtoto mdogo because when it comes out is not the father can be so dramatic for the child manake msisahau internet doesn't forget tunaweka kila kitu eh na hata ukiingia kwa google bado utapata mabadiliko kama hayo so sara samani kuja utuambie hiyo dna paper where did you get it where did you get it eh ulienda ukatumia utoto pesa twako ukalipa ukapewa fake documents ukuja utuonyeshe wewe basi basi itakuwa hata wewe ndio mwenye ulikuwa unatafuta kiki na sio huyo harmonize because mimi sioni kama harmonize mwenda wazimu kichaa kabisa till today hakuwa amengangana ameganda huyu mtoto ambaye inasemekana sio wa kwake that can be true yeah, i was a can eh? yani it's not okay and it's not fair wewe kutokezea kama kama it's it's not true yani sara that was so low of you kutokezea na fake dna au post about a child ambapo huyu mtoto akikua bado she will see these papers and these documents that's so wrong and so bad shame on you na pengine pia unakuanga na mambo yako mabaya mbaya hivyo ndio sababu pia unadungwa matukio watu wa, but just learn eh just learn wa Afrika wanapenda ku za weusi that's for sure most of them hata wakikuwa na weupe bado huwa wana cheat na weusi so just uh, be sure be sure of that mimi sijasema ni ukweli wa mambo utafiti Sa, kisayansi nimefanya kisayansi yani nimetafiti Eh? Yeah. So, let us come back to the story anyway about the child. Harmonize amekuwa na randa randa anabeba mtoto. Kumbe hata hajapewa ruhusa ya kuranda randa na huyo mtoto. So, mimi nikafikiri Harmonize ameongea na mzazi mwenzake. Waka agree kwamba yeye anachukua mwanai, anaenda zake kudadehi na mtoto wake, ampe maraa kama yote. Kumbe mtoto hata ni kama ameiba. Hajaambua atoke naye. Ah tabia gani jamani afu kisha hmm? kisha umchukue mtoto bila ruhusa ya, ya mama uende ukachukue na mwanamke wako ndiye amembeba mtoto ah jamani ah hata kama ni mimi nalipuka yani nalipuka kabisa kama bomu la Hiroshima <laughs> umchukue mwanangu uende ukampatie mwanamke mwingine we he Hey, basi yule dada ana haki ya kulipuka na ana haki ya kukasirika. Tabia mbaya lakini unambeba vipi mtoto bila hata yani hakuna yani mtoto mwenyewe anaambua anasikia vibaya. Tabia gani hiyo? Hmm. 
yani lakini ujue me i think pia how nice ni janja i know they will take the child alafu sasa um sasa wapige picha kajala amembeba mtoto afu mimi sijui kwa nini mtoto akatai watu kama mimi huyo mtoto ningemkata huyo kajala hata anibebe na kata anapiga manduru ah sasa i how nice akajua kwamba huyo kajala atambeba mtoto alafu wapige picha post so you know people are going to talk kajala anaonekana amembeba mtoto na sio bibi uh, mtoto wa mwanamke mwingine wa, mtoto wa harmonize ambapo bibi mama hata yuko karibu eh hey. na sasa hii ya harmonize ndio ile inaitwa co-parenting eh so ile ya diamond eh tangu harmonize aanze kumchukua mtoto hamjiona bibi mama mahali kokote karibu na harmonize lakini diamond nakwambia bibi, bibi mama wanakuja wanapika wanalala wanapakua wanakula wanalala wanaonga <laughs> Diamond. <laughs> Co parenting kama ya Diamond ndio the best yani. Alafu kisha ni ukue na wa mama different baby mamas. Mbona raha? Huyo akitoka mwingine anaingia. Wote wanakuja wanapika wanapakua wanaoga mnalala. Ah, ya 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 ya. Lakini ya harmonize ndio co parenting ya kishua hiyo. Yaani tangu ameanza kumchukua mtoto sisi alijamuona baby mama kwenye picha. Hey. <laughs> Sasa, hm anakuja kutuonyesha picha kajala ambeba mwanai mbona huyu mama asikasirike ah huyu mama ana haki ya kukasiria mchukua mwanangu vipi ndio kumpatia mwanamke mwingine ah umeongea na mimi kwanza kama angekuwa alikubali sawa lakini sasa hata ujeongea na mtu mwenyewe hajakubali ukisha unachukua mtoto wake unaenda hmm. kisha anasema mtoto anasikia vibaya alafu we bibi mama we bibi mama eh? Jifunze mfunze mtoto wako kukata watu. Sio kila mtu anayemuona anamkubali anamkumbatia bwana. Mfunze kukata watu. Hmm? Mtu ambaye haja hujamwambia kama hajamuona mara mara mbili mara tatu. Mfunze kusema no uh, kwa foreigners. Yaani mtu ambaye hamjui asimkubali. Mfunze sahihi akiwa mdogo sio anakubali watu. Watoto kukubali kubali watu sio vizuri hata for the protection of the child. It's not good. Maana mtu yote akija tu anamkumbatia anaenda naye. You never know. Eh, si vizuri kabisa. Inafaa tu akumbatie mtu mwenye anamjua. Sasa ungekuwa umemfunza hapo, Kajala angepata nafasi ya kumbeba na picha zingeonyeshana kwanza kama, kama mtoto amelazimishwa. Hmm? Lakini pale mtoto amemkumbatia kabisa, mfunze mtoto kukata watu. Si makosa. Sometimes it's difficult but kama mtu amjui, mfunze kukataa. Mimi sijui mtu anafunzwa vipi lakini kama inawezekana vizuri afunzwe kukataa watu. Maana yake watoto wenye kukubali watu ni rahisi sana kuibiwa. Hmm? Just for the protection bwana. Maana yake mtu anaweza kuja mtu ainje kwa jangili hivi, nikuje mtoto amkumbatie. Na unajua siku hizi wenye watu ni wagonjwa akili, yani wamekuwa wenda wazimu kabisa. Hmm? So mtoto amkubali alafu aende naye. So guys anyway um, baby mama mimi kwa maoni yangu baby mama alikuwa na haki ya kukasirika na kuandika hizo vitu zote alizoandika she has all the right hata kama ni mimi pia ningeandika eh tena ningeandika zaidi ya huyo baby mama so alafu harmonize tabia mbaya kumbeba mtoto bila ruhusa ya mama yake aliyembeba akamzaa mama ufai kufanya chochote unachojisikia na mama Eh, ila sisi tunajua umefanya hiyo tu sababu ya kiki maana ulijua picha zikitokea kajala ambeba manao zita trendi na ni kweli umeachieve whatever you wanted ume trendi ila wacha don't take advantage of a child is an innocent angel jamani he hayo basi wapenzi wa bunge na wasi kama mja subscribe ni subscribe na msisahau kuweka on notification zenu ili msipito na chochote kile tu wakati kinapotufikia basi msisahau ku comment ku like na pia kutoa maoni yenu mimi na sign out kwa hereni <laughs>